Hello and welcome to Dublin Zoo's Nature Connect activities. My name is Kelly, I'm from the Discovery and Learning Department and today we're going to be growing our own seeds. So if there's any budding gardeners out there that want to get their fingers all green, we're going to start with some things that you might already have at home. So sleeves up, let's get started. The very first thing that you might have at home that you're not using at the moment might be something like an old raspberry or a blackberry or blueberry fruit container and that's perfect for growing things like press seeds in. So they're really quick to grow, they'll grow in about four or five days. What we need to do is, most plants need soil and water and sunlight to grow. We're gonna cheat a little bit today. We're going to use some cotton wool instead of soil because crests can grow really well in it anyway. So you can use cotton wool, but you can also use really easily. You can get some kitchen roll at home, tear off a sheet, put that under there, tear off a sheet for yourselves and fold it up hopefully not in wind like I'm dealing with today, and place it into your little container as well. Either of these will do really, really well. The next thing you need to do is have a little bit of water because our plants need some water to grow. So we're gonna put in a handful of seeds. Try to space them out as evenly as you can. The other thing that's important is you'll need to have, they already have them in it, some drainage hose so the water can come through and just a little something underneath like a lid to go underneath them the water can drain into the other lid or the bottom of that container if that has holes in it you can just pop some sellotape over it to make sure that it contains that water and it doesn't spill on your table so we did our version with our cotton wool and our kitchen paper and cress but this time we're going to use some soil instead so i'm going to take my lovely yoga pot you might need the help for an adult for this part so they'll need to use something sharp like a scissors to put some holes in the bottom maybe four or five and again that'll be our drainage for the water going in get your hands out and we are going to put it in some of our soil so you might have this in your garden or you might have some compost just make sure it's nice and moist beforehand too so we're going to put in a nice handful in there you want to get it almost all the way to the top so we're going to use some thyme so this is lovely in your cooking and it also has a lovely smell and it's really really good for bees so i'm going to pop a few seeds into my hand there really really tiny so we can put in a teeny bit more so just a few seeds dropped in around the way you want to press the seeds down just a little bit not too much that they go down to the bottom, but just a tiny bit below the soil. And then again, we need to put in some of our water. So do that there. And again, we've got loads of sun with us today. So we're gonna put that in a nice sunny spot. You can look for a really nice sunny spot at home, maybe in a windowsill or somewhere where you have a skylight. The other version you can do is with a egg carton. So we have just cut our egg carton in half. So we again, get the help of an adult or a grown up there at home. Again, you can put in some of your soil into each area. So we're going to take just a few seeds. We're going to place, if we can, one seed per small area. And just press it down a little bit. This will mean you can get one head of lettuce per space in the egg curtain. Perfect. So remember, the three things we need for that plant is soil or for our crest seed some paper or cotton wool we need some water and we need a nice sunny spot and you're going to check in on them each day to see how they're doing and add in some more water for them too so there's lots of materials that you could use at home whether it's an egg carton a yogurt pot some upturned fruit containers or if you have a window box just remember to label them as to which they are in case you're growing a few different things um just use simple lollipop sticks is great and you can create a competition at home between your different members in your house as to who grows the tallest plant or maybe who grows the most leaves on it so have a great time for all of us at dublin zoo we will see you next time for our next nature activity thank you so much